Recently, I've been seeing more and more of these smartphone mounts pop up on Amazon, particularly mounts that attach your smartphone to your car. Now, in this video, I will be comparing the differences between magnetic mounts and clasp mounts. These two are the most popular mounts and they have their own advantages and disadvantages. We're not actually going to be talking about the mount itself, but how it attaches to your phone. This mount is actually for bikes, but the car mount with the clasp is actually, it's pretty much the same. I've noticed that some of them have an extra support on the bottom to prevent the phone from sliding up and down, but that's the only difference I've noticed. So let's start off with the magnetic mount. Now this one is very simple. It attaches to the air vent. That's not important. It's got a magnet on it. Provided in the package that the mount comes in, you often get at least one plate, one metal plate. My package actually came with two metal plates. This one is circular and I have a rectangular one that's installed on the phone. These are meant to be attached to your phone somehow. You can either use the adhesive strip on the back to stick it to your phone, or the way I prefer to do it, I would get a case and just leave it on the inside of the case and it works just as well. And this way, it's not permanently attached to your phone. Once you take off your case, you can actually take the plate back out and you have your normal phone back. These also don't interfere with your phone because they're not magnetic. They're just metal plates. But the magnet itself also doesn't seem to interact with the phone in any way, which is great. So the way it works is very simple. You have your mount, you have your phone, make contact and they stick together. It's actually very strong. like. It's very difficult to shake it off. I'm not too worried when I'm doing this, but definitely if you shake it a lot more, it's gonna fall off. But I was shaking it a lot there. I'm sure that if you're going on a ride, even off-roading, whatever kind of bumps that you run into, it's not gonna fall off. So the magnetic mount does not fall short in terms of strength by any means. Also, just due to the nature of how this magnetic mount works, it's definitely more convenient than having a clasp mount. Not to mention, it's also more versatile. If you can apply a strip to the back of a tablet per se, or a GPS unit or anything, anything that you can apply one of these things to can be mounted to one of these. I cannot say the same for the clasp mount. So the way this one works is even simpler. There's a button here, you press and hold the button, it expands the clasp, it's actually spring loaded so it does it by itself when you're holding the button. You take your phone, put it inside, squeeze the clasp shut, and you have your mount. Releasing is also very simple. You press and hold the button, pull your phone, and it comes out. Now, you've seen how strong the magnetic mount is, but the clasp mount is even stronger. There is no way this thing is coming off, no matter how hard I shake it. This is why you never see magnetic bike mounts, because the clasp design is just so much stronger. But the thing about the clasp mount is, it's definitely not as convenient as the magnetic mount. I mean, for the magnetic mount, you literally just make contact and it sticks. There is no beating that. It's also not as versatile. However wide this grip expands to is how wide your object can be. Now this does fit a Nexus 6P. It can even be bigger than a 6P, but you can't fit anything on it because it also has to be thin. So pretty much any GPS unit you have, you can't fit onto one of these. I also found that the clasp mount can be a little intrusive. You see, it attaches to your phone from these supports on the sides, and that's how it grips on your phone. The thing is, your volume buttons are on the side of the phone, and on newer models of the iPhone, so is the power button. This is also the case on Android phones, as you can see on my Nexus 6P. The buttons are all on the side. So what I find often happens is, I would put the phone in, squeeze it shut, and these things would start holding my buttons down. And what happens is, the phone goes to maximum volume, it goes to mute, or it attempts to shut down. Usually this can be fixed by adjusting the position of the phone, but that's another inconvenience. With a magnetic mount, you don't have to worry about that. So that brings us to the verdict. I think there is a place for both of these mechanisms, but in my opinion, if you're driving a car, the magnetic mount is definitely the way to go. It's just so much more convenient and it's gonna save you a lot of headaches. In fact, I find it kind of fun just attaching the phone to the magnetic mount. Now the clasp mount also has its uses. It's a lot stronger, so if you plan to go off-roading, it might be a better choice to get one of these. What I think would be a much better use for one of these is on a bicycle. And that's exactly what this is. This is a bicycle mount. Using a magnetic mount on a bike just wouldn't be wise. There's too much of a chance that the phone will fall off and get damaged. And that's it for this short video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. But the thing is, but the thing about the clasp mount is, it's definitely not as, it's definitely not as, it's definitely,
It's definitely not as convenient as a men. But the thing about the clasp mount is, it's definitely it's definitely not as convenient as a men.